Voyager в хату everybody, it's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna learn how to do procedural lightning strike in Cinema 4D using new particle system 2024, and for my patrons I will have small bonus lesson how to make the lightning strike really easy and fast and are directed in a second. But first, if you want to thank me for my efforts doing all these tutorials for you for free in my free time, you can become my patron and only for $5 you'll get all the tutorials project files, advanced bonus lessons with all the secrets of the world, and even some of my digital products for free that will save you hundreds of hours. And if you want even more, you can check my art station market, where you will find incredible texture sets that are ready to use unique advanced techniques bonus lessons, and high-quality game-ready models that you can use immediately. So it's great to be my patron to get all these bonuses. Moreover, half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine. That is very important now. So firstly, let's create basic emitter and scale it up. Let's rename emitter and group as first. Also create null object and rename it as target. Put it a bit down and change the shape to circular and green color to better see it. Then let's follow to our first emitter and change direction to target and set target as our null object and set velocity speed to 300. Change emission mode to shot and count to 1, lifetime to 60. Create new reproduce emitter and call it root 1, same as a new group. Then we need to add condition. Leave conditions property as age, comparison to greater than and the value 25 frames. Then put our condition in the group first and then place roots 1 into this condition. Particles start to burn too late, that's why we need to change value of the condition to 10. In the roots 1 emitter, we need to change direction to target and set our null as a target. Also, let's change the speed to 350. Also, let's change condition value to 5. In the roots 1, let's go down and play with the spread and spread parameters. Don't forget to play with the render seed also. In total, it will give more varieties of the movement of the particles. Let's create new reproduce and call the group and the particle reproduce as root 1 trace. Put them both into root 1 particle group. In root 1 trace emitter, let's change scatter to per particle. Mode to constant at speed to 0. Now we can see traces. Now it's time to create new turbulence force and put it in the root 1 folder. Up the strength and scale a bit to have such dispersion effect. Change chance parameter in the condition to reduce the number of the particles. Now it's time to create new condition and put it in a roots 1 group. Duplicate the turbulence and put it in the condition. Change the comparison to greater than 25 frames and change the turbulence parameters. You can even duplicate the turbulence and add more turbulence. It will help us to randomize the movement more. Don't forget that you can change the target position and particles will follow it, but I will keep the position of the target the same. Now we need to go to root 1 and change life type parameters to stop the spreading. 150 frames with a variance of 20 will be enough. After this step we need to create one more reproduce system, and let's call this reproduce and particle group as roots 2. Also we need a condition for it. As previously let's change to greater than and put 80 frames. Let's put this condition into roots 1 folder and put roots 2 emitter into the condition. In the roots 2 we need to change direction to target and place our null as a target, change speed to 350 and let's change the color to blue. In roots 2 emitter we can go and play with spread parameters to randomize particle movement. Now we need to create another reproduce system, let's call the system and the group as roots2 trace and put it in the roots2 folder. Scatter in the roots2 trace need to be changed to per particle and the mode to constant. Also color inheritance must be 100. Now we can see secondary roots. But it's too much, that's why in the condition where we have a roots2 we need to change the chance to 5%. That will decrease the number of secondary roots. Also we have a little issue that they are shifting a bit. To fix this we need to go to roots2 trace and decrease the speed to 0. Now it's time to add turbulence and put it into the roots2 folder. Then we need to play with the turbulence settings to make the secondary roots move wiggly. Make some tests and after you're happy with it, duplicate the turbulence again, decrease the scale of it, that will help us to add more micro details to movement. As you see I am playing with it because there are no particular numbers I can give you. It depends on the target position, speed, scale and many other parameters. Finally, after some tests, I have this result. After it, I decided to go to Roots 2 and play with the spread parameters to randomize it even more. Don't forget that you always can go back and play with the spread parameters of each root. 
When it's ready, let's go and find condition and put it into the roots2 folder. And instead of age, let's change the property to lifetime and set it greater than 15 frames. And duplicate one of the previous turbulence and put it into this condition. Play with the turbulence parameter to add even more random movement and we'll see that blue particle will have more random movement after some time. If you want to have even more detailed look, you can add more roots. But because it takes quite a lot of time and I want to make a short tutorials I will leave it up to you and for now leave it as it is let's make some last improvements let's go to roots 2 emitter and change lifetime let's make it 35 with variance of 25 frames makes the blue particle stop spreading after some time now we need our traces to disappear so that's why we need to go to root 2 trace and set lifetime to 85 with a life inheritance of 43 percentage then let's go to root 1 trace and make the same but now the number of life will be 70 frames with a variance of 55 percent now we'll see how our lightning will appear then spread and then will disappear slowly root by root. Don't forget that it's absolutely parametrical and if I will move the target position you'll see how the lightning will strike right into this position and it will try to keep all the parameters we previously set. That's all with the setup so if you want to render it you can put it in volume builder and make more organic look. But to make it work faster I will use cloner, name first cloner as one and change mode to object then duplicate the cloner. I will name it as second then create the sphere lower the segments number and put the spheres into the Cloners. In the first cloner set as an object root 1 trace and the second root 2 trace and you'll see how the spheres will appear on each dot where particle were. Now I have full animation with the geometry we can render. But what if we need to change speed because now it seems quite slow. The one way of course is to go and change the speed parameters for particles. But that step will change appearance of the lightning that we like. That's why I have a handy solution for you. Put both cloners into the connector. Then you need to select connect modifier, right click on it and select bake as alembic. It will take some time, but after you have a lambic file that you can paste anywhere. You can change speed of it, and you can see that the lightning start to be really fast. Also, there is a time remapping option, and as you can see, you can reach really interesting results. So hope you like it, enjoy it, learn something new. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and ring the bell to not miss even more interesting upcoming video. Don't forget that my patrons will have small bonus lesson where I will show how to make the lightning fast and easy. I want to thank to my amazing patrons Anthony Tedisco, Jenna Efrin and Daniel. You're absolutely amazing guys. Have a great week and remember, Sebude Ukraina.